So we are seeing that the interest rates are going up and you know many news are going around that you know we are in a bubble the market is going to burst so now many people have a question that do I buy now or do I sell or do I just wait and see what's going to happen so if you're in the same boat stay tuned because in this video I'm going to share my opinions on what's happening and at the same time what's happening in Windsor market so I'm going to give a market update Namaskar, welcome back to my channel. This is Aditya Soma. I'm a real estate investor and real estate agent and I have a team of professionals of real estate agents here in Windsor, Ontario. We help investors like you or you know homeowners, first time home buyers to buy, sell, invest here in Windsor, Ontario. And on this channel, I talk a lot about you know how you can achieve financial freedom through real estate. So if that's the topics that you're interested in, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and smash a like and leave a comment you will be up to date with my content before getting into the conclusion of what my opinions on you know what's going to happen in the market but let's quickly look at what what is happening in windsor market right now like or what's the data look like so let me quickly jump onto my computer here for i would like to show you guys because you know more than hearing it's better to see it's always good to make decisions based on the data rather than just the emotions or based on this news which i'm not a big fan of because those will keep you away from making your dreams into a reality so let's look at this data again you can find this data by yourself as well if you go on to windsor real estate stats windsorrealestate.com their monthly stats you can find all the monthly stats for every month for last five years so i would strongly recommend always you know whichever the city you're looking to invest get spend some time on this websites on the city real estate websites so that way you can get an idea what's happening in that particular market right so what's happening in windsor so if we quickly look at here the number of new listings that means the number of new properties came on to the market are increased by 17.4% 17.04% which is pretty good amount that means compared to last year february this year the amount of listings increased which is a good news because you know in december 2021 in january 2021 it is crazy so many properties sold before december and sold after january in this during december and january time most of the properties went up by 100 to almost 50 to 100000 each property like overpriced that much because the one of the major major reason is the amount of properties on the market was super low whereas now in february and actually we are right now in march and i'm looking at the data from february because the march data comes in next end of this month so what we are seeing right now there is a little bit more inventory there is more listings coming onto the market because which is a very good news for investors or first time home buyers who've been looking because you know when there is low inventory there will be more demand and people just you know when they don't have option they just buy whatever they find but like this when the inventory is going up now it's a good news for you because now you can pick and choose you can find uh, you know a property that you may like now the number of if you look at the number of properties sold also increased by 8.93 percent competitive to last year february so which is again not surprising because the number of listings went up that means you know more activities so which means there are still more buyers on the market so if the listings coming up and it's a good sign that you know buyers can find properties because you know the biggest challenge we've been facing for last few years is not able to find right so with this listing the the number of listings increasing it will help many people and it will help us as a realtors too because it's crazy you know sometimes we work with buyers and we make offers first of all finding a right property is a challenge on top of it you know getting the offer accepted because you know there is like for every property 30 40 50 offers crazy so you know it's not only just driving buyers the crazy also realtors like us you know it's it's just insane too much emotional pain over there emotional damn it so now we are seeing that you know at least easing off and the prices the prices are still strong 
like average price went up by 44.7 percent which is insane and again this is like totally unexpected to see this much increase which you know if you see in the whole Windsor real estate market like from last 30 40 years of data on an average is like four to five percent but now like 44 percent so if you would have bought a property last year right now your property has increased by 45 44.7 percent which is like in a layman terms if you bought a property for 500,000 right now on an average your property is 700,000 yeah that's right 200,000 but whereas if you look at your returns on the investment if you put 20 percent down you put for 500,000 property you only invested 100,000 because you leveraged you leverage that's a powerful tool with real estate you leverage other people's money which is banks money for 400,000 and you purchase this property and now your property increased by 44 percent which is on an average 200,000 for that 500,000 so now with your 100,000 you made 200,000 think about it like you made 200,000 which is like 200 person returns but what if you paid you bought the same property the 500,000 property with 5 percent down with 5 percent down which means your money into the deal is only 20,000 you borrowed because if it's a primary home if you're moving into it you could buy that's the cool thing in north america you can buy for five percent down so now twenty thousand dollars turned into two hundred thousand so calculate your returns it's freaking thousand percent returns that's right like that's crazy again don't expect this will continue to happen right just it's just the luck this is you know this is totally unpredicted situation where it happened and i have personally helped a couple of clients um, especially recently one of my clients like you know we bought a property just in like october and with a five percent down for three hundred thousand, and we sold it like i helped him sell it like just a week ago before even going on to the market we sold for 450 and he put only five percent down for a three hundred thousand, which is fifteen thousand, and we sold for 150 50 Fifteen thousand turned into hundred and fifty. Now we bought another nicer home for another ten percent down, and he still have money left to buy another one or two properties. So that's insane. If you calculate the returns, where can you find this thousand percent returns in six months? Again, you know that's happening in real estate right now. But again, there is a cautious. You gotta pay, play it very cautiously. Just make sure you know you're not jumping in just because assuming that appreciation will happen you look at all the basics okay i don't want to go too much deep into those basics for now but again i just want to give you a caution and also let's quickly look at some of the activities because you know market activities you always have to look a little bit more deeper on what's happening before you come to a conclusion with this market crash thing or you know uh, what's going to happen so in february the market activities up by 17 percent which means like you know the sales inventory and all those data right so here listed properties like we were talking before the there were 600 and 680 listings in february whereas last year 2021 february it's only 580 so 100 more listings came up onto the market which is a good news for you know people who've been waiting and which also like you know if you're looking to sell that means you just need to you know make sure you you present the property well you price the property well market the property well you choose the right realtor in whichever the city you're in because you know that means we just need to do more work in order to sell a property competitive to when there is very low inventory again that being said still like i said before the prices are still holding strong and same thing with the uh, listed year to date properties like year until from this january 1st till the year we had 1229 listings whereas last year it was only 1073 so it is up by almost 14.5 for 14.5 percent which is pretty good sales we have seen this already sales year to date is also up which means you know the number of sales happened from january 1st till now also up um, average price which we have seen like crazy up average price year to date so again this is a little bit confusing when you look at like year to date is like the from january till now compared 
to with the last year same thing last year 2021 20, january to february in short the price still is up so here is the summary right what i'm think what i'm looking at what's happening right now in the market is there is a little bit more inventory coming into the market which is a good news for you know a lot of looking to you know buy their first home or investors who are looking to invest who've been waiting because now you have more options and if you're a seller just make sure you know you are presenting preparing your property because you know before just like any property going around the market or selling so now you just need to do a little bit more work you need to pick the right agent and you know me as a buy and hold investor i'm a huge fan of no matter what you can always find a good decent properties which you know you can hold on to for next five years ten years so which there is a guarantee that you will be making money because you're leveraging your tenants paying your rents and all those things so um in short i don't think it's a market crash and i don't see any other data because there is still new immigrants coming into the country if you have seen the data from the cic they're expecting 400,000 plus every year this year next year and upcoming year for the next three years which is like almost 1.3 million that's their expectation so where are these people gonna go 70 percent of them are coming to ontario so which means i'm a strong believer the canada because you know canada right now is one of the beautiful country and one of the most most wanted country like for many immigrants like me coming from india china or different countries who love to come to this country because you know it's a blessing to be here and that's a blessing many people wanted so that's demand is gonna hold up in my opinion for renters you know the renters will be there still so that's all my thoughts and i would love to hear your thought what do you think what are you seeing which market are you in let me know in the comments below With that i'll be signing off make sure to check out the other videos related to financial freedom until then see you later have a wonderful day